Hello everybody. Uh, today we're going to be uh, letting you see some of my dash cam video from my office window here uh, while I travel through the state of Kentucky. Uh, I have just crossed over from Illinois into Kentucky on I-24. Uh, you'll see the sign there, Calvert City. Uh, this is some beautiful part of of Kentucky in uh, southwestern Kentucky. Uh, there along the, the Tennessee border, this is there's the lakes here, uh, Lake Barkley. Uh, beautiful place. They have a state park there at Lake Barkley that, oh man, it's just gorgeous. If you want to get away for a weekend or a week or a uh, really beautiful place, they've got a good restaurant there. Uh, Lake Barkley is a place to go. That's one of the, the secrets of uh, state parks. Uh, anyway, I'm crossing over the Cumberland River right here. Uh, in a few minutes, you'll see me cross over the Ohio River, or it may be backwards here. This may be the Ohio and the, the uh, Cumberland later, but I, I believe this is the Cumberland. Anyway, uh, a really beautiful country through here. I am coming home. I, right now, I am at home. Uh, having a kind of an extended home home stay here. Uh, my wife has had some minor surgery and she's come through it fine, so I'm going to spend a few days taking care of her and making sure that she's okay before I head back out on the road again. I've been in uh, Cheyenne, Wyoming for uh, October, November, and December and part of January uh, running dedicated for the, the Walmart distribution center there. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Uh, I went as far north as uh, Great Falls, Montana, which is not far off of the Canadian border. I uh, went as far south as Albuquerque, New Mexico, uh, as far west, uh, running dedicated routes as far west as uh, uh, Grand Junction, Colorado, and all through Vail and Copper Mountain and Steamboat Springs and all of the ski resort areas in Colorado and then uh, all around Denver, uh, Colorado Springs, Pueblo, uh, all of the Boulder, Avon, oh man there's a whole uh, list of, of they, they call them cities but they're actually just uh, suburbs of, of Denver, Colorado. Uh, I can't say that Denver, Colorado is my favorite place to be, but uh, there sure are a lot of Walmart stores in and around that particular area. It's a huge area. Um, anyway, coming back home through Kentucky, uh, all of a sudden I'm not used to, after spending three months out there, having all this traffic here in in Kentucky all of a sudden and the closer I get to Nashville the worse the the traffic gets and it kind of reminds me of why I wanted to be out in in uh, Wyoming to start off with but uh, anyway uh, the thing I really wanted to talk to you about today I had a, a young fella come to me at a store that I was at there in in uh, Colorado and told me that he was, uh, he had already signed up for a trucking school and he was going to get his CDL and uh, he is working two jobs. He's doing everything right. He's just not making any money, but he's working two jobs. He's got two children. He's got a wife and, and he's trying to, trying his best to do everything right. Um, he was concerned about the, the, uh, cost of the school, if that was fair or not, and uh, it was right around $5,000 to get your CDL, and that's about right. Uh, some of these companies, these trucking companies, will will not only pay for your school, but they'll pay you while you go to school. I know Titan Transfer has, has a school, and they will pay you while you go to school. The only thing is... Uh, you have to pay for it one way or the other, and you make less money for the next couple of years while you're 
after after you get your CDL, of course they they give you a job driving a truck, and uh, you spend a couple of years kind of paying back the the money that it took to send you through school. But for somebody that doesn't have a whole lot of credit or doesn't have the money, uh, that's an excellent way to do things. I don't know that Crete has anything like that, and I don't know that they have uh, uh, any kind of a school or, or whatever, but I do know that they take fairly young drivers, and they'll put you with a seasoned driver for a while and, and then uh, turn you out on your own. There's all kinds of ways to make money in trucking. Uh, I was discussing that with this guy. You, local drivers are certainly making more money than you would working as a clerk at a at a department store. Uh, of course, you're home every night, but you work. You know, you you pick up uh, loaded trailers from drop lots, and then you make deliveries to the whatever business they're going to, and then bring the empties back to the drop lot. Uh, that's that's a typical. Uh, day driver, day cab driver, and most major cities have day cab driver needs. Uh, and certainly companies, I know Crete has a number of, of drivers at every, at every major city that do uh, local deliveries. Truck drivers call that shagging trailers, uh, where you just pick them up from the drop lots and deliver them and then bring, them, bring back the empties. It keeps guys like me that are on the road, we can do a drop and hook at a drop lot and then uh, uh, kind of be on our way again and it keeps us rolling it, and it uh, keeps the customers happy because they get their their deliveries on time. Uh, anyway, there's, there's dedicated routes uh, that just go to particular places back and forth, back and forth, and usually those drivers like that, they're home uh, several days a week. Uh, there are regional drivers and those drivers may be out for a week at a time or two weeks at a time before they get home. They may actually every once in a while uh, be able to spend the night at home even though they're under load and, and just kind of passing through. Uh, they may get some more home time than others, and then there's guys like me that are on the road, and and we go coast to coast and border to border, and we're typically out for, uh, in my case, it's a minimum of 21 days at a time. Uh, of course, we don't get as much home time, but we get more money for doing that, and money right now is what I'm all about, so... Uh, anyway, this young fellow was, was coming and asking me questions and wanting to know a whole lot, and I gave him my uh, email address and told him he could email me anytime he wanted to, and I'll give it to you. My email address is uh, jiggyflytrucker, all one word, jiggyflytrucker at gmail.com. If you're a young driver or you or a driver that wants to get information about coming to work for Creek Carrier, or whether it's another company, uh, uh, or go finding a school in your area, I'll do what I can uh, to try to help you out and at least give you some good advice and steer you away from the ones that are going to take advantage of you and try to steer you towards good companies that are, are reputable and and uh, uh, you know you'll make good money there. You'll you'll uh, do well. So Creek Carrier is, has been good to me. Uh, of course, I had been driving for a number of years. Whenever I come to work for them, getting used to some of their ways of doing things has has uh, <laughs> sometimes been like pulling teeth. But I'm I'm beginning to figure it out. Uh, I had a spell there where I had a lot of truck problems and had some other issues that uh, kept me off of the road and uh, I was not real happy there for a while but we seem to have got all that worked out and the truck that I'm driving now is, uh, has not got any, any major issues with it 
and uh, I'm doing real well. Uh, anyway, Crete has been good to me. My driver code, if you decide you want to come to work for Crete, my driver code is H-O-D-K-E. I would appreciate it if you would put that on your application. Uh, it puts a little money in my pocket. And I promise you that I will reach out to you as soon as I see that come across. Uh, I will reach out to you and call you and uh, see what I can do to help you with your, your time with Crete to uh, make it better uh, and to help you avoid some of the pitfalls and to, to help you just overall kind of get used to, to the Crete way of doing business. Uh, Anyway, uh, I hope everybody has had a, a real pleasant Christmas and a, a, a happy new year. I'm looking forward to 2022 for a bunch of changes to come about. Um, I hope this is going to be a, a really good year. Last year, uh, after coming to work for Crete, my income almost doubled. Uh, so... Uh, that was a good move on my part to uh, you know, to come to work for Crete. Uh, anyway, foreigners is another uh, issue that's out there. There's an awful lot of foreign drivers on the road these days, and I'm not real sure that that's not a national security issue. Uh, uh, it, it's just one of the things. I'm I, If they came to the United States legally and they're... Uh, they're trying their best to feed their family and whatever, then more power to them. Uh, it's just the fact that they they don't understand our culture. They don't. They, a lot of the times, uh, they're they're a real problem. Anyway, thank you for joining in. I really appreciate you uh, subscribing to my channel. Please hit the subscribe and the like button. Uh, we'll see you again next time.